10 life lessons from an MIT genius. In this video, I'm going to give you 10 things that will help your life. Now, these things have been specifically targeted towards young adults entering adulthood. But I think that this applies to everyone. I don't think it matters how old you are. These are things that can help your life. Before I read the 10 things, and I'll read them very shortly, let me just tell you who this person is. This man graduated from MIT in 1987 with dual degrees with high honors. He then started a software company in 1989 called MicroStrategy. And then today he's a billionaire. I don't know if he's really known for, you know, giving out advice like this. I think he's more known for other things in the finance world. But I want to focus on these life lessons in this video because they're good. In fact, some of these things I've made entire videos about here on the channel. And so when I saw this list, I was like, wow, this, this is epic. This is really, really good advice. And it can help a lot of people who are struggling with math, struggling with life, struggling to find direction. This is stuff that actually helps people in the world, okay? It's good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna read the list and I'm just gonna go through it slowly. The first one is to focus your energy. This is extremely important for several reasons. So for one, you only have so much energy in the day, right? If you work really, really hard on something for a couple hours in the morning, maybe you do some really hard mathematics or physics, it's draining, right? It, it takes energy to accomplish hard things. So try to save your energy for your most important tasks, whatever that is in your life. Whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, focus your energy on that. The second one is to guard your time, right? Time is a precious resource, right? We only have 24 hours in a day and we have finite lives. So guard your time. The third one is to train your mind. I talk about this all the time. So you want to continuously seek knowledge and try to educate yourself. I want to emphasize that it's not just about mathematics. I think it is extremely important to read other types of things. I think history is important. I think science is important. And don't neglect those math subjects that you hate. I mean, it's okay not to like all math, but keep an open mind. The fourth one is to train your body. This is one that is crucial, right? Crucial. Personally, I like to exercise every single day. Even if it's just like some light cardio on my rest days, I try to do something physical every day. It's very, very important to keep your body healthy because if you don't have a healthy body, it's, it's hard to think. The fifth one is extremely important. It's extremely, extremely important, especially in, in today's age with the internet. It's to think for yourself. This is key. I cannot emphasize this enough. This is key. And I feel like over the years, I've gotten really good at this. I feel like this is one of my strengths. I, I know I have weaknesses, but this is something that I feel like I've gotten better at. So think for yourself. Make your own decisions. This is super important. The sixth one is really good, is to curate your friends. I, I made a video about this recently. You, know, you are who you hang out with in some sense, right? If, if your friends are into bad things and you're hanging out with these people, then you're probably going to be into bad things. If your friends are into very positive things and they're doing good things, then you're probably gonna be doing very positive things and very good things. As they say, you, know, you are who you hang out with. Curate your friends. The seventh one is to curate your environment. So you want to create spaces that foster productivity and 
positivity. You want to be in a good environment. Eight is to keep your promises. You, know, you want to build trust by honoring your commitments. Nine is to stay cheerful. So maintain a positive attitude even in adversity. That's a tough one. I mean, especially when things are tough. It's hard to stay positive. So it's important to say it in this video as a reminder. And the last one is to upgrade the world. Right? Contribute to the betterment of society through your actions. What can you do to help the world? That's a pretty epic list. And so when I saw it, I thought I would just make this video. I'm going to go through it one more time. Focus your energy. Guard your time. Train your mind. Train your body. Think for yourself. Curate your friends. Curate your environment. Keep your promises. Stay cheerful. Upgrade the world. Epic list. It's epic because I've talked about a lot of these things in videos. And so to see someone else give a list like this of these 10 things I thought was extremely good. And I wanted to share it with you here on this channel. I also want to emphasize that it's important to focus on these things, you know, and you're going to find that you might be better at some of these things and you might be weaker at some of these things. And I think that's what's so great about this list because they're all different. And when you read the list, you think, hey, wait a minute, I might be lacking on the training the body part, or I might be lacking on, you know, the curate your friends. But I'm really good at focusing my energy and guarding my time. So not everyone is perfect. I think that every day when you wake up, you should try to better yourself in some way. And this list is a great way to help you get there. Anyways, I'll keep this video short. Epic list. What do you think? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, when you leave comments, it helps people all over the world who are watching this video. Also, before I forget, I have math courses. Check them out. The links are on my website, mathsorcerer.com. Check out my books. I have a bunch of books. They're all on Amazon. You can just type in Math Sorcerer. I've got a bunch of math books, Calculus Beta. I've got Calculus Alpha. And then I have two college algebra books, all for beginners, super easy books. But my best book is not a math book. My best book kind of goes in line with, with these 10 ideas. And that's another reason this really like kind of resonated with me. It's a book on something else. So it's a book on taking action. Because action is the one thing that you can do in this world right, to change your life. Everything is a result of an action. And this book, Real Superpowers That Will Change Your Life, is devoted to that. So it's devoted to help you take action. Anyways, leave a comment. I really want to know what you think about this list and do you have other things that you feel should be added to this list. As always, stay strong, my friends.